you back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at trigonometry. What is trigonometry? Trigonometry is the study of triangles in relation to their angles and sides. Again, trigonometry is the study of triangles in relation to their angles and sides, or to sides and angles. Anyone? So let me put that in words here. I say is the study is the study of triangles in relation to their sides and angles. So that's the definition of trigonometry. So it only deals with the side and angles. That's all. Now let's consider an illustration here. Okay, let me divide this into two. So I, I'm considering a triangle. A right angle triangle. A right angle triangle means 90 degrees. So look at this right angle triangle. So we have our angle 90 here. If I call this point point A, point B, and point C. Now there's another angle from this right angle triangle. We call that we call it an acute angle. Acute angles are angles that are only less than what 90. So it can either be positioned here or positioned here. So I can either take this or this. So I prefer to go with this for now because you have to just take one out of the two. So this is an acute because the angle is less than what 90. So let's call that, let's call it angle theta, if you don't know. Good. Since we are dealing with sides and angles, now in triangle, the capital letters there, they represent the angles. That means angle A is 90, then angle B can be any value, then C is an angle of what theta. So with these three angles that we have here, we must surely get their, or their sides too. So how do we get their sides? That's the next thing. Now, this is the angle. The line, the line opposite this angle A is the first two of the side A. That's a lowercase letter A. Okay? Similarly, this is B here. Angle B, rather. So the line opposite the angle B is called the side B. That's lowercase letter B. Then lastly, this is C. The line opposite is C is called lowercase L letter what? C. That's the side C. So we are able to provide it, both the angle and the side of this triangle. But how do we label the side? That's the next thing. Now, labeling of the side is very simple. Look at this angle 90 here. The line again, or where this angle 90 is facing, is the first one as the hypotenuse. This is called the hypotenuse side. Though most people refer this as the longest side, which is correct. So you can see, you can see describe the hypotenuse as the longest side of the what, of the right angle triangle. Okay, but the way I think is more um, appreciable is by saying, if you have an angle ninety, so the line facing that angle ninety or where that angle ninety is facing, is called the hypotenuse side. So we shorten it as HYP. This is this. Okay. Now, this is an acute angle theta. The line facing or where that angle theta is facing refers to as the opposite, which is the ang acute angle opposite. So we shorten it as OPP. So of course, the last side will be refers to as the word adjacent. So we call this the adjacent, which is also shortened as ADJ. Okay, the adjacent is very simple. Once you just get the angle 90 and angle theta, which is the acute angle, where they are sitting, the lines where they are sitting is called the adjacent side. I would together. So, but let me, I think I prefer to put this in words, in points, so that you understand. So, let me start by saying where theta is facing is called the opposite. I'm just putting it in words, what I've said before. So, this is opposite. Then, similarly, where right angle is facing. Is called the hypotenuse. I believe you understand that. So let me shorten this HYP. Let me shorten this OPP. I believe you understand this too. So we now sell the remaining side. The remaining side is called the adjacent. Okay, so I believe that is clear. Now, the next thing we need to move into now is 
we have three basic trigonometry that we need to understand here. So the three basic trigonometry are the first one is the first one as the sine theta, second one is the first one as the cos theta, and the last one is the first one as the tan theta. So with all these three, these three represent the angle. So when you combine the sides, there is one famous word or one uh, renowned word that we normally use to categorize sine, cos, and tan. So that word is referred to as the Sokatoa. Call it Sokatoa. So this Sokatoa, I'm going to be splitting into three, which is this, this, and the last one, which is this. So I'll start with the first one here. So the first one is so. This is a represent the sign. This is going to be sine theta. The O represent the opposite. Then all over the hypotenuse. And this opposite, if you look at this diagram now, is simply side C. So you can just put it there as side C all over. Then the hypotenuse is A. That would be C over A. That means opposite over hypotenuse is simply not C over A from this triangle. Okay? So the other one, which is cos, which is ka. So C represent the cos. Cos theta is equal to then A represent the adjacent. Then the H represent the hypotenuse. So, of course, if you go back to this triangle again, the adjacent here is B. That will be B all over, then the hypotenuse is what? A. B over A. Okay, are we following? So, the last one, which is 2 now. So, for 2, C represents the tan, theta, then O represents the opposite, then A represents the adjacent. Okay? So if you also consider this triangle, the opposite side there is simply the C. C all over then the other side is simply what? B. Alright? So uh, I'm going to stop here for today. In my next video, we'll be looking at cosec, second, and cotangent of trigonometry. Okay? But if you have any question on this, kindly drop me in the comment section and like this video, share this video. Uh, to get more of them in my coming video, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification on your channel. Okay? I'll see you guys in my next class. Bye.